Still developing tonight, a football rivalry between two Montgomery County high schools ended with a huge fight. The fight happened after the game at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School against Walter Johnson High. News 4's Derek Ward reports that principals from both schools are now working to identify the students involved and they are promising disciplinary action. The brawl happened just outside the Bethesda Metro Station Friday night involving students from Walter Johnson High School and Bethesda Chevy Chase High School following a football game between their two teams. The cross-county rivalry between the two schools is nothing new, but this was something else. I don't think anyone had anticipated um, how much this had escalated in the level of violence. Montgomery County Council member Kate Stewart was on a ride along with District 2 police officers as they responded to several calls for post-game dust-ups. We understand that when teams you know, get together and play, there is uh, good competition that happens and we want to foster our community coming together. Uh, but we also need to draw a clear line at what is unacceptable behavior. And that is what happened on Friday evening. Videos circulating on social media show what happened outside the metro station. Police have been made aware of those videos and there is an open investigation. At least one Walter Johnson parent and student filed a police report saying that student was assaulted and had his shoes taken during the incident. A joint letter from the principals of both schools went out on Saturday condemning the behavior, calling it, quote, dangerous, illegal, and completely inappropriate. The principals also pledged that appropriate disciplinary action will be taken in alignment with county school student code of conduct as students involved are identified. We need to be creating more and more spaces for young people to be able to gather safely, to be able to uh, do things. To that end, Stewart's office and the County Recreation Department will be sponsoring a block party in downtown Silver Spring on September 22nd, a half day for the county schools. In the meantime, we will work with uh, the community, the schools and our police department to make sure moving forward when the students leave the campus uh, that everyone can be safe. Derek Ward, News 4.